my YouTube family. Welcome to Melda242. I am Rimelda, and today I will be preparing for you Bahamian Steam Grouper Steaks. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. Let's begin with the seasoning. Okay, in this bowl I have some grouper steaks already washed and ready to go. Okay, this was already prepared, cut up by the fishermen. Now I'm gonna begin this process with some lime juice. So I'm just gonna be using a half of this at first and I'll use the other half at the end, okay? I'm just gonna squeeze this over the fish, turning them over. meat is very thick. That's a good size fish. All right. So I've separated this and I've gotten three meals. I, can, I got three meals out of it. I'm just giving my hand a quick rinse before touching the, the seasonings. Okay, I'm beginning with the garlic salt. You don't want to go overboard with this. So just add enough, a little bit on each. Little sprinkle. Noticed only a little is coming out at a time. This has salt in it, so you don't need too much of this. Okay, that's the garlic salt. Next is the minced onion. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this over it as well. That's the minced onion. Okay, this is the tail. I'm just putting some scotches on this one so that the seasoning can go through. Okay, this is the end of the tail. Okay. Red pepper flakes, you're next. Not too much of this now because I don't like too much of pepper. Just a little bit to enhance it a bit. This is gonna come off when I put it in the, the steam. Okay, now some paprika. Just to help with the color. There you have it. I've added some thyme and the other piece of lime. Now I'm just going to allow them to sit for about 15 minutes or so. Now it's time to begin the frying. In this frying pan I have about 2 cups of oil. Allowing it to heat, then I can put the fish in. Okay, there you have it. It's ready. <clears throat> now these fish, I'm not going to allow them to be golden brown, but just to get a little bit of crust on them because they have to go through an, another process. Okay, so I'm just allowing them to get a little bit of crust, like fry, halfway frying them. Okay, they are rolling. I just love this frying pan.
so let them go for a little bit okay now I can take them out now you can see they're not golden brown just a little bit of crust so that's not fully cooked Nice, beautiful group of steaks. So I will be preparing this with some crab and rice, coleslaw and fried plantains. These are the last two pieces. Okay. Last one, yes. I just speed up the camera. Just to help. Now I'm going to begin with the sauce, the gravy. In this pot, I have about two tablespoons of that same oil I fried the fish in. I'm going to begin this with the, the onions and the celery. So that's the rest of the ingredients right there on the side. So just the celery and the onion goes in first. The celery and the onions. Leave the garlic and the bell pepper. Because you know they take the longest to cook so give them a little head start all right I've also added a ripe tomato not all of that the three of these go in together that's the garlic bell pepper and the tomato I'm gonna allow those to fry down that's a little close up. Oh, that's beautiful. They smell nice, yes. All of that goodness. Like I said, I, I've used two tablespoons of that same oil I fried the fish in. Now it's time for the tomato paste. I'm using two tablespoons of that Hunt's tomato paste. This is halfway thawed. I don't know why I like to keep my tomato paste in the freezer because I don't want it to go bad. Okay. So let's recap. I have two tablespoons of oil, onion, celery, bell pepper, tomato, garlic, and I also added some thyme. I'm just going to add just a little dash of the sea salt. I don't really need it, but just a little, little bit. Fifth dash. Also, a little bit more of this garlic salt. Okay. Minced onions. paprika to help with the color as well as the flavor red pepper flakes just a sprinkle of this okay and then a little bit of browning it's about a tablespoon of browning okay Combine all of that and just let it work. Fry down in that oil. All right. Okay, now I'm adding the, the lime juice from the fish. This is the seasoning from the fish that I've had earlier. So I'm just adding that. That's the lime juice. 
and the other flavors that I put over the fish to season it in or to season it with so I'm just adding that to the, the herbs that's gonna go for about a minute or so before I add the water Cover that down. About three minutes or so, and then I'm gonna. Here comes the water. This container holds two cups. Okay, now I don't want to put too much water, so maybe I'll just add another half a cup. I don't like a long gravy long stain we call it stained so right just like a little a half more so that's two and a half cups this is just to soften the fish to keep it moist so I don't put my fish in my meat in right away so I allow this to cook to boil some of the water to dry out dissolve then I add the fish or my meat that's how I do it. It has enough seasoning. Okay, I've already allowed it to boil out. It's bubbling, yes. Now I can add the fish. Some of the water dried out. Here is the beautiful fish. Now I'm adding the, I'm just going to place the more firmer pieces at the bottom because that's where most of the heat is. And I'll just leave like the little thinner ones for the top. Like that one, that would go at the top. Because it has an opening, that one too. And I don't want it boiling away. This is just going to, I'm just going to allow this to boil or to cook for about five minutes, five to eight minutes the most. Cover the pot after basing it, putting a little um, gravy over the fish and then let it go. After about 8 minutes, you have your steamed grouper steaks. In that pot, I'm just going to get ready to make the crab and rice. So of course I would link this to the crab and rice and the other dishes that it's going with. So this is going to be served with fried plantains, coleslaw, crab and rice. Ooh, Sunday dinner. All right. That's how I like it. Just going to allow that to go. There you have it. That's my steamed group of steaks. About eight minutes or so. Turn it down. That's on low, of course. <clears throat> Good. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Be sure to like it if you have enjoyed it. God bless you and I will see you in the next one.